Hello again, this is Alan Avance, and I am a hydrologic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are discussing one of RMC Best Fit's inputs, systematic data. We will cover the process to create systematic data with the critical volume duration and bring it into RMC Best Fit. In this lecture, you'll learn how to obtain systematic annual maximum inflow volume data, learn how to enter that data into RMC Best Fit, and we'll have a brief introduction into the plotting position options and low LR test. RMC Best Fit supports three different data types, systematic data, interval data, and perception thresholds. This lecture will cover systematic data. In the current version of Best Fit, input data is required to be block annual maxima and is assumed to be independent and identically distributed. Therefore, systematic data entered into RMC Best Fit will be irregular annual values for the critical volume duration. Systematic data is collected at regular prescribed time intervals under a defined protocol. In best fit, these systematic values are treated as exact measurements. Most often, systematic data is taken from a stream gauge or it is calculated reservoir inflow data using a mass balance equation. Therefore, the principal sources for the data are the USGS and water management offices. Be sure to review water control manuals design memorandums, and other design documents, as you might find additional information that may have been otherwise missed, such as discontinued gauges or we recorded annual peaks. Basically, don't skip the effort to do the research. Most data gathered from the USGS or water management will be time series data that's an hourly and or daily, but RMC Best Fit requires the data to be entered as an annual maximum series. Let's walk through the basic process to go from a daily time series to the annual maximum series for the critical volume duration. With HEC DSS View, there is a two-step process to create the desired annual maximum series. Using DSS View's math functions, first convert the daily record to the critical volume duration, then convert that new record to an annual maximum series. Let's walk through that one more time. I want to briefly mention that RMC Best Fit 1.1 will have future options for input data. It will allow the user to enter period of record time series data so that all of the data prep can be handled within RMC Best Fit. Users will be able to develop block maxima data, annual, monthly, and seasonal, or peak over threshold data. Users will be able to manipulate the data for moving average, like volume duration, or moving sum, like rainfall intensity duration. Users will also be able to perform various hypothesis tests 
on the data to ensure the samples are independent and identically distributed. Now that you have an annual maximum time series, let's walk through how to enter that data into RMC Best Fit. You can view the data as a chronological plot or as a frequency plot by toggling the radio buttons underneath the plot. RMC Best Fit uses the Hurst Dedinger plotting position. The default plotting position parameter is Weibull or alpha equals zero. Now that an annual maximum series has been entered, a low outlier test can be performed. Currently, RMC Best Fit contains the multiple growth spec test as a low outlier test. The basic purpose of the low outlier test is to ensure homogeneity. It's important to identify potential influential low flows, or PILFs, in the annual maximum flood series as they have the potential to affect the upper right-hand side of the curve. RC Best Fit only includes systematic data in the outlier test. Now, low outliers often reflect physical processes that are not relevant to the processes associated with large floods and consequently may not reveal much about the upper right hand tail of the frequency curve. However, because the effects of the low outlier test is that it replaces systematic data with a perception threshold, Judgment should be used whether to accept the test results. A weight of evidence approach should be used. You should confirm the data points identified as outliers are data points that should be removed from the systematic record. Basically, you want to use as much of the data that is available and only exclude data if the weight of the evidence concludes it should be removed. Some evidence that could help resolve the question is to determine if they come from a separate hydrologic process, is the data regulated with some stepping behavior? Is there a known flood mechanism that is causing the heterogeneity? If supporting evidence cannot be found, there is potential to reject the outlier test results. Additionally, you should always run Bayesian estimation sensitivity test with and without the outliers. 
Remember, one of the primary goals of the outlier test is to improve the fit of the upper right-hand curve. Running the sensitivities will help show if the final selection is missing the goal. Now that completes our talk on RMC Best Fit Systematic Data.